The TI-30XA calculator, like many other calculators, has a special mode for working with the statistics of data. This tutorial will show you how to enter data into the calculator, and it will familiarize you with some of the buttons that are used while the calculator is in statistics mode. When the calculator is first turned on, it is not in statistics mode. When the first data value is entered, however, the calculator will switch to statistics mode, and an indicator at the top of the screen will read STAT. Turning the calculator off and back on will revert it to the normal mode. The button that will be used to enter each data item is here. It is labeled with a capital Greek letter sigma, which stands for SUM, followed by the plus symbol. I'll be calling this button SUM plus in this tutorial. You enter each data value into the calculator by first entering the value and then pressing SUM plus. The calculator accumulates the statistics after each entry, and you can access those statistical values at any time. Let's practice this by entering the following data, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Start by pressing 1, then SUM plus. The calculator shows that you have entered one number so far by displaying N equals 1. Press 2 and SUM plus, then 3 and SUM plus, then 4 and SUM plus. Finally, press 5, and remember to press SUM plus after the last number you entered. The calculator should display N equals 5 to indicate that you have entered five data values. The statistics have been computed at this point. Let's access a couple of those values now. The left parenthesis button has the symbol sigma x above it, and this represents the sum of all the numbers we have entered. So press second and left parenthesis now. The sum 15 should be displayed. The button labeled EE has a lowercase n printed above it. This is the number of values that we have entered. How many numbers did we enter? Press second and EE. The display shows that we entered five numbers. If you find that you entered an incorrect number, you can remove it by pressing the incorrect number again and then second and sum plus, which has sum minus printed above it. However, I would recommend just turning the calculator off and then on again to clear it and start entering the data again from the start. There are other statistics that we can access, but we will address how to do this in a subsequent tutorial.